Okay, so we are going to start bar 254, which precisely matches over here our line diagram, showing off how we've added the up-down backbone and passing figures and the dynamic scores. And here is the last part. course we had it muted so you could only hear the parts that were varying but we did that on purpose yes we did ladies and gentlemen welcome to this recap of composing in full media part 67 a voice image in today's episode we set out to continue working with the leashes piece and we, as just shown, added a uh, more scores to our energy chart. In particular, we added a backbone, figure, complexity. Uh, well, direction. Does it go up or does it go down? If it, if it falls, it's low energy. If it rises, it's high energy. If it dips like da da da, or flat like da, or arc da da da. So we scored those. And then we also went through and we, by ear, tuned the dynamics uh, of the different parts to something that was more pleasing and more variable. And then we went in and figured out the average dynamic score and added to that. And as a result, we have this updated set of charts. This is the energy by bar number and the energy by time. And the difference is that some of the sections have a slower tempo and they draw out in time, which you can see down here compared to up there. So we now have six energy factors. We have tempo plus cadence plus syncopation, which is basically two time, three time, the two figures and the dynamics that we just mentioned. What we're going to do now is play the uh, updated animation that uh, goes with this with our little figures from last time and then that'll take us home. So here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to uh, work further with this animation. We have downloaded the updated file, so you are hearing the changes in dynamics. Um, one idea is if we're going to do different scenes, we might as well add labels that say chase, hold, hunt, chase, hold, hunt, rest. Um, we could make the figures of the critter and the thinker larger against the background. We also are thinking about making a third figure that pops in and out like a fox or a rabbit. Every time there's a chase, there might be some little white uh, abstract shape here that represents a smaller critter. We could just use the same critter, to be honest. Maybe put some ears on it and just move everything over to the right a little bit. So we thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. It makes a difference knowing you're there. Tune in next time. Take care. And as always, keep on streaming.